So, we're going to do a compression test on this stock head. I have another head right here that's been milled down for better performance, hopefully. We're going to check and see what the stock compression is, and then we're going to put this on and check what its compression is then. Okay, she ain't building anymore. That's how she's getting. Bring you in for a close-up. So. That's what it is now. I'll pause the video and swap out the head. So, in order to swap out this head, I have to remove What do you know? I was able to pull it off. Let's see here. This is the original thickness of the head. Get this thing to focus here. Oh god, that's hot. It just says no. <laughs> it like gets it and then it decides it doesn't want to. Okay. So that lip right there is basically like fingernail width. All that's been milled off of this one. You see a side by side there. So it ain't a whole lot. And I'm gonna cheat and use the same head gasket, which is technically a no-no. One of the other things you want to pay attention to, on some engines, your head bolts might not all be the same length. Thankfully for these old engines that are flatheads, all your head bolts are the same length. So it won't make any difference. If you're not sure, you can mark your, your head bolt, scratch a number into them, and then scratch a number next to them or something. Or put a take a multi pack of sharpies and scratch you know put a color here that matches here you know what I mean, but it really be up to you however you want to try and do it. Now don't tighten these right off until you get at least a few of them in, or else uh, the head might not want to let you get a couple of the last bolts in. I've ran into that over the years.
I should have grabbed my impact. I'd have had this done by now. Now, one of the things that you can run into when you shave these heads is that the valves of the piston can make contact with the head because you're losing clearance. And I actually haven't checked to see if that's the case. I just kind of milled that off for fun because it was a spare head that I didn't care about. First thing I did was I milled the fins off flat, these shiny parts here, so that it would set on my mill's table flat when I flipped it upside down, because the back side is a flat machine surface, so bolting the flat side down to the mill table would work perfectly fine, but these rough castings can easily be, you know, rocky and not set level when you bolt it down. So anyways, I milled, flipped it over upside down, put a bolt through the spark plug hole to hold it to the table, or the T-bolt, milled off the top flat, then flipped it over and did the other side to the actual mating surface. Yes, I've lost a little bit of the fin surface, which will make the engine run a bit hotter, which probably ain't great for it, but, you know, like I said, for fun, for testing purposes. So, let's uh, see how this works. I'm going to crank her over good and slow. So, there is our new pressure rating there. Come on. Looks like we made it clear up to 120. Before we were like 110, maybe 100. I don't know. You'll see the video. I'll edit it together. That's nuts. And I'm going to let the pressure out of that and then start the camera and crank it again so you can tell that it ain't fibbing. And I cranked a lot longer the first time, but there it is. So let's start this puppy back up and see what kind of power we have. I'm going to back her right up so you can actually see. The front tires usually will lift. Let's see if we lost power or gained it. Although I am in grass, it may spin. I just rode. But I'm only guessing. 